so you like famously you obviously left you know your your operator career you started a few companies and now you're, you're wearing more of that investor hat is something that you had always planned along or just because you're natural let's say interest in the tech ecosystem having done some angel investing kind of led you down that path uh or is it part of a big master plan no there's no plan <laughs> um i would say most of you know everything i do and i'm sure like most people do is just a little bit of like serendipity and um and luck and just you're kind of rolling along as, as kind of like life takes you through like different like chapters. Um, you know, for me, like I, was, I, I grew up as a, or I studied in school as a software engineer. Um, I went to computer school for computer science. And my first few jobs were just like kind of random, like software engineering jobs. I worked for like the Toronto Transit Commission. Uh, I worked for the city of Toronto. Um, you know, nothing like notable, nothing that paid well. Uh, nothing that was even like helping me grow as a software engineer um and then uh you know that kind of started i was like you know me, me building a company and then you know i had no clue how to build a company uh and that kind of ended up working out we sold that first company and then that kind of started getting my wheels moving on like entrepreneurship and it's like i think the real big magical moment for me was like look i can put in input abc and there's no like confirmation from the world that like as you put in abc anything is going to happen but at some point there is like a result. And I think that's like a really meaningful connection, like, or for me that, that I was able to draw um, that like for a lot of times you can like continue putting an ABC and it might feel like you're not going anywhere, but actually there is like a result at the end. And I think that was like a, a, a really, really important one. Um, and that kind of like led me into this, like, uh, you know, growing more into that, that career path. Um, but, but yeah, to answer your question, I think like, you know, moving from, uh, an operator, like let's say an engineer or a product manager and so an investor um, was never really the plan. I started investing as an angel investor here in Toronto, um, mainly because, you know, I started these small companies and um, I just didn't find like any great resources uh, to like raise capital. I couldn't find like good, like ways to connect to the uh, local angel investor community. Um, basically, I don't know how to raise money. and and I, and I think like a lot of the folks that I talked to here, to me, it seemed a bit like conservative. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd spent a bit of time in the US and it seemed like, you know, it's conservative. I think like, you know, now that I look at it, it's like from the funds point of view, uh, they actually do a great job for the LPs. Uh, and I think they're great funds. Um, but from a founder's point of view, I think sometimes it might feel like, you know, it only fits a certain slice of founder, or a certain slice of business. And so, you know, naively, I basically just started angel investing because I was like, oh, like, you know, I like these businesses. I think they're smart people. I'm just going to write a small check here. So I did that a few times. And then that ended up being like, you know, whatever, like 20, 25 times. And, uh, you know, meanwhile, I'm still working at, at Shopify as an operator. And, um, you know, after I left Shopify, I basically started to, like, think about if I could do something different. And uh, I really didn't want to, this sounds kind of cliche, but I didn't want to, like, work in tech um, or, or investing, you know, for a while I, I like built a camper van and I was like kind of like drive around the U S in, in like a van and just like chill. And then like, you know, maybe buy a farm and just like, you know, raise some chickens or something. And then, uh, and then, you know, I started to kind of like drift back into like, okay, so investing things pretty cool. Some of the investments that I made have started to work out pretty well. Um, can I go work at a fund? And so then I applied to a bunch of funds. I like talked to a bunch of funds, applied, and it just never like really worked out basically i couldn't get a job at a fund um for whatever reason either you know i didn't have the previous two relationship or they thought i was like kind of overqualified for us in a certain direction and like you know maybe they, they just wanted like an analyst uh and you know i had no background in, in, in being an analyst or or even investing professionally so that basically led me down this path of like um look maybe i can start my own fund and at least like teach myself the skill set so i you know put up my own capital to raise the fund and then end up meeting other like fund um, or yeah fund funds and fund managers, and through that ended up kind of raising this uh, small fund uh, for for Roach Capital. As always, thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn more, check out thepnr.com.